1983, I did radio tomography with 30 watts, looking for oil in the ground. I found 26 oil wells over a nine-state area, and 100% of the time was accurate with just 30 watts of power beaming straight into solid rock. HARP uses a billion watts beam straight into the ionosphere for experiments. Picture these strings on the piano as layers of the earth. Each one has its own frequency. What we used to do is beam radio waves into the ground and it would vibrate any strings that were present in the ground. We might get a sound back like and we'd say that's natural gas. We might get a sound back like and we say that's crude oil. We were able to identify each frequency. We accomplished this with just 30 watts of radio power. If you do this with a billion watts, the vibrations are so violent that the entire piano would shake. In fact, the whole house would shake. In fact, the vibrations could be so severe underground that could even cause an earthquake. Last year, I confronted Heizo Takenaka, the former Japanese finance minister, over why he handed over control of the Japanese financial system to a group of American and European oligarchs. He and his envoy told me that it was because Japan had been threatened by an earthquake machine. I did not believe it at the time. However, when I started exposing some of their doings, I was told by the Japanese security police that because of what I had said on places like Rents.com, that Niigata City was going to be hit by an earthquake. Two days later, Japan's largest nuclear reactor was the exact epicenter of two earthquakes, both 6.8 in magnitude. And that was too much of a coincidence for me. So I started doing research and found out about HARP, H-A-A-R-P. And I realized that they really did know how to make earthquakes. And they do it by shooting a billion watt microwave into the ionosphere, which is the part of the atmosphere that has a lot of energy in it, that pushes the ionosphere up into outer space and then it rebounds and the way it rebounds can cause earthquakes just like an opera singer can break a glass by singing at a certain level or by dragging your fingernails on a blackboard you feel a weird sensation if they adjust the vibration for the rock underneath their target site they can do that the same machine can also heat up subterranean water to cause earthquakes. And remember, a billion watt microwave. What does microwave do to water? It heats it up. Now imagine if you put a billion watts into a tropical storm. You could make it much bigger and you could change the direction it flows in. You know how there's high pressure zones and low pressure zones. Well high is hot and low is cold. And the hot flows into the cold. And vice versa and there's more of the cold. So they can heat up an area and cause it to flow into a next door area. In other words, these people are capable of creating the cyclone that hit Myanmar, the tsunami that hit Indonesia, and the earthquake that hit China. Now after the earthquakes hit Niigata, a member of the Inagawa crime family, which is based in around the U.S. Yokosuka Air Base, and members of the Inagawa family have told me that their big boss is George Bush Sr. In other words, they work for Skull and Bones. And they invited me to a so-called UFO gathering where they showed me the video of this blob. They told me it was a UFO, but it was obviously, to me anyway, a plasma uh, weapon or a ball of heat created by something like a billion watt microwave. And I predicted in my blog that there would be videos of lights found above China before the earthquake and those videos then appeared on the internet after I predicted they would. 
And furthermore, a Taiwanese satellite detected a 50% drop in the ionosphere, in the amount of electric energy in the ionosphere above the earthquake zone. Now, a 50% drop would be exactly what would happen with HARP. It would push the ionosphere up, and then it would slam back down. So, it looks like the insane criminals who have taken over the U.S. government are killing people and threatening people with earthquake weapons. It doesn't look like it. I actually have some of the proof. Weather modification could also be used as an instrument of warfare by manipulating the electric jet and the jet streams that dictate climate. The publicly stated aim is C3, Command, Communication and Control. The margin of victory in war is to block or intercept enemy communications and to secure your own. The signals in the ELF extremely low frequency range can be generated by HARP and heard anywhere in the world and are used for earth penetrating tomography, basically finding enemy submarines and underground bases. The main idea behind HARP is the ability to direct electrons along the naturally occurring magnetic field lines of the earth and accelerate them to near the speed of light to form a protective shell of highly excited particles that not only block communications worldwide but destroy missiles in their trajectory as they descend from space. The effects can be localized by punching a hole through the ionosphere to superheat an area 30 kilometers in diameter into a plasma shield. Any missile or aircraft would be destroyed that tried to fly through the plasma, which is the fourth state of matter. A hole in the ionosphere above an enemy country could kill by allowing solar radiation to strike the surface unhindered.